Hello everyone and welcome to my balcony. <laughs> um, today I'm going to be working on finishing the Tinder Liar harp set that I picked up. And what we're going to be doing um, for the first thing is sanding. Um, and we're starting with 100 grit sandpaper. Um, and we're just gonna sand all the way around this blank liar and get a lot of the burn marks and the scratches off and then we'll move on to a higher grit of sandpaper. And now at this point I realized it would probably be helpful to have some sort of flat surface to work on. Um, so I stole a Duplo from my daughter <laughs> and I'm just gonna wrap the sandpaper in it. Um, so it just makes sanding out those flat surfaces a lot easier. Hi everybody. Um, so this is kind of part two of the making of the liar. Um, I just got done finally sanding all of it, first with the 150 grit paper and with 220 and then with 400. So it's nice and super smooth. <laughs> and now um, I'm gonna do something fun. I kind of wanted to theme this liar um, so I chose mermaids <laughs> and um, what we're going to do is we're going to try and stain it a blue color. Um, I used to do this all the time when I built guitars, so it's super fun to do. <laughs> uh, so what I did is I got a uh, disposable cup. This is just from an old thing of detergent. Um, so I have about a cup of water in here and then what I'm going to do is add several drops of food coloring. It's kind of squirted in there. I want it to be really dark blue, so I'll put a lot in there. And what it does is the wood absorbs that water, and then of course the beautiful blue color remains even after it has dried. So I kind of mix that up, and you can see it's a really pretty blue color. And then we're going to take a paper towel, kind of fold it up, and get just a little bit of blue on there. I don't want to stain my fingers. And we're going to start. I'm going to start here on the sides. All right, and it looks like we're going to need a lot more blue in there. I haven't done this for a long time so I don't remember exactly the ratios. So we're just gonna ah! <laughs> That's why I have a towel on the floor. <laughs> we're just gonna stick a bunch of blue food coloring in there. <laughs> and then twirl it around. Okay, let's give this another try. Paper towel wet. There we go. Now we're getting some blue color. And I might end up doing a few coats of this. And I'll let it dry in between. So that the wood can absorb the water again. Okay. Something that you can do is... Um, if you want to sand it again after you have put this stain on, it will make it smoother and it will also give it kind of an interesting mixed look because you'll have some of your wood grain standing out and obviously some of it will stay bluish. So that is something super fun that you can give a try. And if you find yourself with a bit too much water, um, which does happen when you're trying to use paper towels, um, you can have an old stained towel on hand by, on standby, and just kind of 
rub that down and that helps you to get um, a more even looking coat so you don't end up with splotches of color. Okay, now that I have my liar all colored, um, and it looks really pretty, if I do say so myself, <laughs> it's time to seal it. So I got this uh, poly acrylic finish. Um, I like this stuff because it's not um, oil-based. It is water-based, so the cleanup is so much easier, and I'm less worried about the fumes and the weird stuff that sometimes comes with some of the oil-based protective finishes. So this is what I'm going with. <laughs> Hopefully it will hold up pretty well. We'll see. Um, and then I just got a simple little sponge brush. I went with kind of a medium size to get in those little corners that are on the tops of the liar. So I'm going to go ahead and do a few coats of that and then we'll see how she dries.
So here is the finished liar. I could not be happier with how this turned out. It's really amazing for, I think $115 is what I paid for it. Um, the thing that I love most about it is that it is quiet. Um, I've been giving it to my three-year-old during her quiet time since she doesn't really nap anymore and it's really distracting and also pretty calming. Um, so this is what it sounds like. It's really just beautiful. And the kids love to hold it and play with it however they like to. There's all kinds of different ways. Sit it kind of on your lap, stand it up. <laughs> um, the kids find a way to play it the way that they like to. So yeah, this is The Finished Liar. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching.